Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew. Hello. Welcome to the show where we play new games on classic consoles. And good evening at 60 frames a second yes. <laughs> to Repentless Fiji. Yes. Um, oh, I was trying to find a name of a game with RC70 before the show. Yeah. Um, some game where you had a limited amount of time. Okay. To do... Every time you you died, you had like 60 seconds again. You only had 60 seconds every life to do like what one thing. What you needed thing. to succeed at doing. Yes. Okay. So you could only really have enough time to do one thing. Okay. And then, you know... What, it, what like an Atari game or what no, kind no, no, of game no. was it's, it? It's like a modern, a modern, modern retro looking game. Okay. So you had 60 seconds to travel there and get that thing. Okay. And then once you've got that thing you died it's okay because you now have that thing mm. and you continued on so it was like that but it reset every x second so you had but you didn't know what you had to do next so you so had to, you had you to, had to go figure, figure it, out. it out and then and then actually would you do just it. die and die and go back to the beginning of the 60 seconds is yeah. that the idea yeah you respawn uh... at the exact same spot each time okay that makes it's sense. it's an interesting concept yeah, and yeah. he would we were just talking about the show um uh the good place and he was like, how could that be made into a game? And I was like, well, uh, you have to you have to kind of die each time. But in The Good Place, you kind of get your memory wiped out each time, too. So you wouldn't yeah. be able to remember it. So that's not quite right, but it triggered the memory of that type of game. Well, but. actually, that's pretty cool because in The Good Place, they have at times tried to leave clues to direct their, their clues, future self. Yeah, leaving clues so to themselves. So you yeah. could have like a SimCity kind of world where people go about their time. And you you can direct them to leave things maybe mm -hmm. like very very limited li limited um, um, actions. Like you can move something and it would help you set yourself yes. up for the next. Yes. And then iteration. the next time the next time you respawn, it's not in the same place, and then that would cause a cascade of different events. Yes. But but it wouldn't be. Um, yeah, like it would have to be almost like a puzzle game. It would be. Yeah. It, you'd be solving a puzzle. Yeah, um, that'd be kind of neat with continuously resetting characters yes or scenarios too like well know. yeah but i mean it could just be you're trying to solve one scenario but you have to do certain things in a certain succession to get the characters to do the thing you want them to do yeah that'd be kind of neat yeah interesting interesting yeah, yeah. so somebody else there you go yeah. but uh <laughs> don't call it, call it the good place because no. you'd be in trouble yeah probably um yeah it's monday night we're just mm -hmm. uh it's long weekend for Canadians and USians. USians. <laughs> Americans. Americans. Yeah. And uh, so well, we thought we'd do a show because I had a couple games that were updated. Mm -hmm. um, two, two games. Very good games. From Champ Games. Champ uh, Games. Wizard of War and Galagon. Yep. And they're always being updated. So I thought I would just do uh, a special show yep. just for them. I've done it in the past. so um, Because it's not going to be the length of a normal show. We're only playing these games, um, so why not just do a one-off show on a Monday night? Don't expect anybody to show up because I didn't, tell I didn't anyone. advertise it. I didn't tell <laughs> yeah. anyone. Um, unless so you're, if you're here, unless you're perceptive on my list of games, you get the on gold the, star for for following the stream. I yeah, guess. yeah. On the, no, that's not not the name of the game. I don't know what the name of the game is. Not mm -hmm. it's not called Overhead three quarter view <laughs> yes and it, it is, is exactly midnight, midnight on, yeah, the, it on is the east late. coast yeah. and it's also late yeah so i don't expect yeah. anybody to watch but they can watch it on youtube later if they like yeah but i'm still going to thank the twitch subscribers Excellent. and the people in the chat like rc70 repentless vg and that's it <laughs> <laughs> and the twitch subscribers gredham's ground trooper johnny wc23 crocodile von vomnil hard name i'll get it mr fix muddy funster nathan strom rc70 who's here uh repentless vg who's here uh retro happy hours sir scum or uh, some scum software sir cat Legs, spartan 581 spiceware s ramirez 2008 the d train 37 and tiki dan k and you can support the show as well and subscribe for free by linking your amazon prime to your twitch prime and click subscribe oh one minute no there's actually one minute until the show <laughs> one minute would be a good name okay. for it because yeah. that, i think you did have like 60 seconds to complete mm. it but no that's not the name of it um some uh mail news and feedback uh the art box art for dragon's descent was released 
Um, that is a game that's going to be on sale at mm -hmm. Portland Retro Gaming Expo Excellent. at the Atari Age booth. Um, so let's take a look at that artwork because uh, it's really, really nice. I did post it on the Facebook group. Um, so let's oh, see nice. if I can pop that up and get rid of the bookmarks. One second, everybody. There where it is. There, so the Dragon's Descent cool. artwork. Can nice. you see my pointer on the screen? No, I think no. I've disabled that. Let's just zoom in. There we go. Oh, the Atari nice. 2600, Dragon's Descent. Legends speak of a labyrinth created by dreams of, immense and, of an, an immense and ancient dragon. The maze is filled with the promise of wealth, power, and danger. Dash, an endless length of corridors with specters and monsters appearing out of thin air. And strange happenings in deeper happenings the deeper one ventures you are a young dragon yourself perhaps trapped here perhaps tempted by the wealth and power that drives your kind regardless you have little choice but to find your way through sprawling rooms of the labyrinth searching for glory or even escape four different modes of play thousands of possible levels to explore because it's got a randomly generated um like like a maze uh in one of the options okay um fight eight types of enemies and three different bosses I we played this recently like yes. a couple of days ago. Okay. And we did defeat the first boss, yeah. which is very good. Yeah. Um, we're gonna be playing it again for sure. Nice. nice. I don't know. Hopefully before Portland Retro Gaming Expo, we'll, we'll see how it happens. Maybe it'll be after it, mm. after we get the cartridge. Um, but it's hard. It is a challenging game. Mm. Um, but but quick. So, like to get to the first boss, I think it takes like maybe three four minutes. So it's oh, it's okay. quick to do it. So it's not like oh it took twenty. But it's minutes. a hard it's hard to kill the boss. Is that the idea? Hard to kill the boss. Gotcha. And yeah. it's a resource management because you can get upgrades, and some of the upgrades uh, are armor, and some of them are firepower. So which do you yeah, get at what time? You have to figure yeah. out what what's worth. Yeah. Worth yeah. Choose how you grow in power as you collect treasure. Nice. There you go. Explore a new maze each game, or come back to your favorites. For one player, use a joystick controller by Todd Furmansky, and I didn't know his name. <laughs> Now you until do. they put this box out. <laughs> they put the name on the box. Um, so Excellent. there, he revealed his name, um, which is uh, a lot of fun. That game, tons of fun. Uh, I highly recommend it. Oh, by the way, it's also for the uh, first day of school tomorrow. Now today, for yes. a lot of the U.S. Yeah. and Canada. And Canada. This is like the last hurrah for kids. Yeah. And, and the, the the first hurrah for parents. So. Like, they're gone. <laughs> Yay. Yay. Get out of here. <laughs> So, what else do I have? Um, oh, um, I've set, I figured out all the, pretty much, the 2019 Atari Homebrew Awards categories. Mm. Um, and I will reveal them soonish. Um, I'll probably have to make some graphics up and start that all going. Um, and I'm going to try and plan them so the award show can be at the end of January. I think it was in the middle of February last yes, time. Yes, it was. Yeah, yeah. But now that I've gone through it, we've gone through it once. <clears throat> I know how long things take and what has to be done. Yeah. So I think it can be done a little quicker okay. uh, than last time. I think the the voting was like two weeks last time and it, it didn't really need to be two weeks. It mm. just needed to be one because everybody pretty much had voted right by away. the end of one week. Okay. And also the deliberation didn't probably need to take as long. I mm. can't remember how long it took. Like, like I mean, with the pre-selecting of mm. the ten games to to vote on, so I think it can okay. be done a lot faster. Cool. Mm -hmm. So that'll be fun. So and I need to get on that because I need to order the awards, and I think I'll get the same design as last time. Um, well, you shouldn't give that away. It should be a surprise. <laughs> well, no, I gave it away. No, before. I like it. Yeah, no, no. I I, obviously, like it. it'll say the 2019, and I'm going to change it to the Atari Homebrew Awards. Yeah. Um, and just just change a couple little things. There you go. Yeah. You can see it? No, you can't. Not not so well. There I can go. hold it up if you want. Yes, please. Great design. I love it. Uh, no, to the lens. There you go. Up, up, up there. There we go. And that's my own award for hosting it. <laughs> yeah, yes. I just posted says I love my award. Yeah, they're yeah. they're really really nice. They, they turned are. out really nice. Yeah. Um, yeah, they really did. 
So um, I'll make a 2019 version of that. Yeah. Um, with some slight alteration, but I'm going to keep the design. Yeah. Because it's the design just, is nice. It turned out gorgeous. really well. And it's the, a nice size. It was a company down in Texas so that did it. Yeah. Yeah. And, was, and they did an amazing job. Great job. Um, fairly inexpensive as far as awards go because they can get crazy costly. Mm. So I think the the combination of the size and the simplicity of the the design, like it's all one type of material. Because you can get metal or mixed materials or, you know, colors through it. But I just like the simplicity of the see-through mm. design. Um, so that is ramping up, obviously, because it's now September. Mm. September, October, November, December, four months. And then it's voting time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so we'll be voting on all the games that were made in 2019. And there was a lot. Yeah. There was a lot a of lot games. A lot that came out. Yeah, yeah. I suppose says I don't think I've done any work for 2019. <laughs> Uh-oh. Get your get your work in there. It's get, good you got that award when you had the chance. That's right. <laughs> or maybe you'll get the 2020 award yeah. next time. Yeah. Um, yeah. Look for some people who need some audio, some music work. Hmm. I suppose says the audio dude. Um, so I think that's it for mail news and feedback. We're going to jump into the first game. Excellent. Which is Wizard of War. By John Champo of Champ Games. There we go. Where's my remote? Way over there. Get the joystick too. Oh, thank you. There you go. Switch it over. Yeah, there's a lot of good um, music and sound this year. Galaga sound and Daredevil music too. Oh yeah, the Daredevil. Oh my God, the Daredevil music. That's a contender. For Daredevil. best music. Oh, the I guy, haven't heard it. Uh, it's unbelievable. Is it? Oh, okay. It is unbelievable. I will have to. I will have to. <laughs> I don't think I played Daredevil. It's the guy with the parachute and you avoid planes. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah I okay. think we did. I take that back. I just didn't really call what it was. Uh, uh, it is water with a little bit of rum, actually. Uh, mine is. His is water and water. <laughs> water and water. Yeah. And uh, bubbles and uh, lime. Hence the blueberries, so we don't mix them up because, yeah. I'd taste it immediately. Yeah. It's mainly water, though. <laughs> <laughs> she has school tomorrow. Mm. AKA work. AKA work. Adult school. Adult school. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. So there we go. Let's uh, load it up. Oh, and look, look what I did. Um, I took the box art from Wizard of War and put it on a label. It's not the real label, but no, it's, but we will find it's, out. It's uh, close enough. Now we did play Wizard of War earlier today. Yes, we did. Not this particular version. In the arcade. But we were in an, back in the arcade in New Westminster and. Uh, in Hello, the... I'm playing till three p.m. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was, Played and we'll talk amount. about that yeah. as we play. So. Let's uh, load it up. Mm -hmm. Load it. Load it. Load it. There we go. Sorry, I didn't realize you were referring to me. <laughs> yes, I am. Uh, Find me a wizard that flower. Find me a something, something, something. <laughs> so standard. Yep. How do I? How do I change the uh, number of? We're oh, we're just playing one player right now. Oh, we are. <laughs> yeah, because... I was like, no wonder there's no option. <laughs> yeah. And the Atari box just reset. So, no uh, more voices. Um, because there's one player things gonna that I have to look at first. Did you play it at the place with the time tags? Yes, we, yes, did. we did. So, we've been there three times now. And Wizard of War was very hard in the arcade. Yeah, it is It's hard way harder than the standard version. Oh, yeah. Even though you're being very foolish and running headlong I, into I... enemies. Headlong into them. Shoot them from behind to the side. There, there you go. go. Where is he? So, uh, Wizard of War was first posted September 13th, almost a year ago, 2018. This build is from four days ago. 32k game, everybody knows all the different games Jean Champo makes. Uh, Avalanche, Champ Sports Hockey, Work in Progress, Conquest of Mars, Elevator Action, Ladybug, Lunar Lander, Mappy, Ripoff, Scramble, Super Cobra Arcade. I played Scramble today in the arcade. Yeah. Very hard. <laughs> uh, Wiz of War Arcade, Zookeeper, Work in Progress, Zookeeper is coming to Portland Retro Gaming Expo. The demo. So I probably will get a copy of that to show off just before we go. Or not. 
Um, this is this version is not available. The one you're seeing, um, a full box copy, will be released at Portland Retro Gaming Expo. And there is an older demo of this available in the Atari Age forums if you would like to play it as well. Oh, the warlock! Oh, no! He's no. gonna escape! Guard no. the exit! Oh. He's coming, he's coming, he's coming! Yes. Whew. Double score dungeon. So, John says, Hi James, I'm nearing release candidate for Wizard of War. Down to 30 bytes after many rounds of optimizations and adding new bells and whistles. Here's a list of changes from the last um, version. I fixed a screen roll when saving scores. Displays just your high score when saving. So we'll see that um, when you finish the, finish the game. Because I suggested um, putting saving score. I uh, don't know. Uh, displays just your high score when saving. So it'll um, show you the score on the screen. Oh, there we go. Oh, ah! no, no, what are you doing? Turn the wrong <laughs> way. It happens. The sound we are hearing is choppy. Choppy sound. I think that might be just you. <sighs> test, test, test. Uh, us talking is choppy? Uh, is that choppy? Uh, or is it a constant sound? Um, I don't know. Reload. Reload. Reload your stream. Oh, it closed off for a second there, so you couldn't escape right away. Uh, but then it opened. Yes. I think it starts closed. I think that's yeah. so that he can't escape immediately. Mm -hmm. Not you, the game sound. The game sound. In really? It sounds good uh, through the television. Um, hmm. We're gonna be. I'm gonna turn off our sound for a second. I mean, our sound to you, and then you can just hear the the game sound. I'm gonna turn it off. Can you tell? Okay, so that's enough of that sound. Um, very choppy, he says. Mm. Huh, interesting, because I don't... Let me let me load it up here, see what that sounds like. So, just hold with us. Uh, hold with us. I'm going to load it here, and then I might have to reset. Because there is a... Okay. Now, don't talk. Um, <laughs> it's not making any weirdness. Yes, very choppy. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm resetting. Resetting the video game feed. It should have paused, which it did. Uh, now I'm going to reset it. Um, so let's see if it is bad now. So if you could play again, I'm going to watch our own stream. You guys let me know. It does sound choppy. Still choppy. That's very weird. 
Um, yeah, it is choppy here. Hmm, I don't know why it's doing that. Because the output from... that we're hearing on the TV is fine, but what you guys are hearing is not fine. It, it's not the game. It's definitely not the game because it sounds perfect here. It's something to do with the um, stream, but we're not choppy. So it's something to do with the encoder. So I'm going to reset that again. And also pull out the HDMI, which is going to... Or oh, it's it's going crazy. The screen is going nuts. Oh. The camera. The camera is going nuts. Crazy. Whoa, what is going on? That's lots of fun. <laughs> yeah, I hope no one has epilepsy. <laughs> yeah, that would not be good. No. Uh, okay. Hold with us. Let's get the game going first. And let's get the video camera going again. Well, the game is going. Oh, no, okay. Okay, June 2019th is the last build I have. Yeah, this is a little bit newer than that. It's only four days old. So let me know how the sound is now. It's not I can flashy it anymore, that's good. <laughs> so let me know how the sound is now. It's still bad. <laughs> still bad. What the hell is going on? Good it's the game sound, right? Um, yeah, it's just the game sound. We're fine. That is a mystery. I don't know how to solve that. Other than reset the stream. Which is not... Not really what you guys want to hear. Not really what I want to do. Um, it started okay and then it went choppy? Oh, okay. No, it's it's definitely bad. It's like ju -ju 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 like choppy choppy. Let me just play it again. Yeah, it sounds garbly. Garbly. Okay. Well oh, you got high score. Impersonating me. Okay. <laughs> oh, no, is it the Atari Vox? It's the Atari Vox doing crazy things. Is the Atari Vox interfering with the sound or no? No, no, because we can hear it fine. Mm. Um, I'm going to unplug and plug a bunch of things. <laughs> Might be an HDMI cable. It's frustrating. <laughs> Can you do? Okay. Still the same game? Uh, no, demo. Okay, restart it. No, but I mean, it's still the same. You haven't restarted No, I haven't Atari. restarted anything. Let's see how it is now. Atari Vox may be the problem? Uh, no, because we can hear it. It's something to do with the encoding. It's, it's definitely not... Garbagey. Still terrible. Um, there's only one thing left in the line of everything, which is the encoding. And I don't really want to reset that. Because it'll cut everyone off, mm. and it'll make two separate files for YouTube, and I'll have to combine them together. <laughs> 
It's a oh. lot of annoying work, but we're going to have to do it because we can't have terrible sounds. So, yeah. So everybody, hang in there. <laughs> we're going to come right back? We're going to come, like, right back. Like and in. If that doesn't work, we're out seconds. of ideas. Um, if that doesn't work, I'm going to reboot the computer. Okay. Uh, we'll be right back. Hang on. Just keep trying. And uh, we'll be... Oh. I did do sound in this. Uh, so I did do sound work for the 2019 yeah, award. I got go. confused. So if this is nominated and wins, then there yeah, you go. You, yeah. you, you would have to share it because there'd be multiple people doing sound and audio. Anyway, we'll be right back. Okay. Adjusting all the sound. Yeah, we? we're streaming again. Are we? Um, yeah. That was quick. Oh yeah, it takes no time. So let's see. Anyone if there? It's choppy. Any, everyone's still there. <laughs> I don't know how it. I think it just automatically automatically comes. Jumps it says back there's in. six viewers already. So can you play? Sure. So you're gonna hear some echoes. Oh, it sounds better now. Yay! Okay, I think we're back in business. I just need a couple confirmations from you guys out there. It was the software, the encoding software, I think. Let me know. Because it sounded really good to me on here. No, because uh, 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 it was very noticeable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it was so just, just type in sounds better or sounds good or thumbs up or something like that. Oh, sounds good to me, RC7E says. But he was skeptical before of what it actually has to sound, or what it should sound like, so. Couple, oh, sounds perfect, Repentless VG. Oh, we're all good, excellent. Well, I'm glad I was able to quickly, <laughs> quickly solve that. Um, I'm, there are some more updates, are added phrases for the pit. Unfortunately, the sound does not work properly. On the, on the Atari Vox, you mean? Because uh, I have an Atari Vox Plus. Uh. It works on the Atari Vox, but not the Atari Vox Plus, and I will be getting a new Atari Vox when I go to Portland Retro Gaming Expo, because they'll have a, a fix by then, mm. they said. Maybe, hopefully. Hopefully. Um, added phrases for the arena bonus, play before Dungeon 4. Added speech phrases for entering the Warlord Dungeon, plays before Dungeon 8. Added sound effects for removing the wall, and I'm guessing that is in the um, yeah. building. Yeah, no, no. You know, the wall gets removed oh, in that, this game. Oh, it's, the actual yeah. removing of the wall in yeah, the gameplay. Yeah, it makes a noise. Oh, there it came in. You, so, so no, it, it, they, they do disappear, too. Yeah, so yeah. I'm not listening for that. Read? Yeah, okay. So there it is. Fixed a bug where the wizard teleport timer would run too long sometimes. Teleport timer. Like he would take too long to teleport? Hmm. Increase the wizard shot speed starting at level 14. Good luck to us <laughs> testing that out. After the pit. After the pit. I think we made it to the pit. At one point. And then we just died. Because yeah. the pit is just one big open terrible place. Yeah, it's pretty hard. Um, lowered the enter maze sound effects priority so it doesn't interrupt the monster explosion sound. Oh, okay, that's cool. Yeah, because there's different priorities for sound. Because some things you need to hear more than other things. Yeah, don't. Bad idea I know the long time. halls. I know. Yeah. I, know <laughs> I know it's. Uh, Medium halls are good because then you have time. And then your shot ends. Yeah. But it's not so quick that the guy gets you. Ah, ah. Oh. I can't turn around fast enough. Uh, no, I really can't. Stick. I do. <laughs> <laughs> Lower, uh, modified the robot movement logic so they don't get stuck in corners. Robot movement? See? Did you see the wall? Yep. Oh. Oh, wow. Your exits. I would go up one. Oh, you Why got it. I would go up one. Oh, no, it's go a back and hallway. forth. I'll go to the corner and shoot down. But no, no, because no. you need to jump to the other side if he, he runs out the other way. Mm, true. true, true, true. Uh, added logic so the wizard doesn't try fire into a wall. Hmm. That's a good idea. Game ends after level 99 is complete. Oh, yeah. Oh. Good luck with that. <laughs> yeah, we'll make it there. No problem. You're almost there, right? Dungeon 3. Yeah. Multicolor bonus players on double score dungeon screen. Multicolor. 
bonus players. Oh, interesting. Oh, uh, they get fast. Yep. If you guys have a chance to test this out, any feedback is appreciated. Okay. I don't know if we'll be able to get I don't much know if we'll feedback. make it that far. So I'm going to put it in nice the stick number two so we can both mm. play. Cool. So we played this in the arcade today. Mm. Um, so we want them both walking. What? I'm trying to do two players. That's two players? No. A one, one, two, two. Okay. Well, what is the blue guy walking versus the yellow know. guy walking? That's who you're playing, maybe. Mm. Okay. Do you think? Start the game. Standard or advanced? Uh, uh standard. <laughs> it's too hard. Were we playing? What was I playing before? I don't know. Maybe um, it was advanced. I don't think so. Oh, I'm yellow. I'm not playing anybody. What? Oh. Oh, you know what? I think we have to reset the game. Pull down the button because it detected the Atari box. Okay. Load it up. No, not games. Go to the t today's date. Uh, that is back. There you go. 0902. It does wrap around as well. Mm, there we go. There, there we go. It's because you added it. I had the Atari you box in. It? Yeah. Without the multi adapter, mm. so it's like, no, you have only one joystick. Mm -hmm. Why would I ever give you two two players? Okay, let's do it. I am yellow. I am blue. That's how it should be. Yep. The arcade you're playing. Oh my you god! You started crazy. on reverse. The reverse screen compared reverse to what? Reverse side. Yeah. Compared to the joysticks, right? Oh. Yeah. Oh, that was dangerous. That was dangerous. Um. So if if it was like this, yellow and blue, blue would be on that side, and yellow would be on that yeah, side. Yeah, it was for the really joysticks. weird. <laughs> I don't the know joystick. if that's a setting or or the, a purpose. The wiring was wrong, but Maybe it was. That's how they all are? Yeah. I, Maybe it's just a weird quirk of, of the arcade. I don't think we played it at Portland Retro Gaming Expo, did we? Uh, I, don't remember, I don't remember it being backwards. I remember like that. playing it at the Atari, the Atari Age uh, booth. <laughs> but I don't remember playing the game game. Ooh, let's go. Let's make it to the pit. How far, how far along is the pit? 14? 14. Oh, or 13. It's craziness. It is. It's very hard. We just have to watch each other so we don't waste our lives shooting each other. Ah! Oh, we almost hit it. Watch the radar. Your exit. Good job. Ah. Oh, shoot him! Oh, oh, I took my hand off the controller there for oh, a second. Oh, that was close. <laughs> Multi player. They're not multi killer. Ah! Terrible. Ah. Jumped into it way too quick. Oh, oh I didn't mean side? to go on that side. Get out of here. We're going to shoot each other accidentally. Ah, oh, I just got shot. I needed that bonus player. Get out of here. <laughs> don't, 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 don't do it on purpose. Ah! Yes. Okay, I'm going to take the top. I'm going to take the bottom. Good job. Oh. Got him. Or you did. I think we both shot him at the same time. Did you hit or die on that last one? That's <laughs> some reference to. We've been dying and hitting. Dying all over the place. I think you hit, you you um you shot him. The uh, wizard was really close to you. Yeah, I did. It it seemed like I hit him, but no, I definitely oh, shot him. Goodness. Oh, that was terrible. Why did I come out at that? Time? Oh what? Mm -hmm. As hard as this is, the arcade was so much harder. Get in my corner. Oh, they're so fast. 
Oh my god! Got him. Right. Nice. You just did it again on the last board. I think when you hit the guy after the wizard guy, the gray screen. That guy after the wizard guy. There is no guy after the wizard guy. There's the you warlock, just... and then there's the wizard. Yeah, the warlock. Ah! Then the wizard. And then, and after you shoot the wizard, it all, all goes black and white and static. -y. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm down to my last guy. Oh, me too. We're only in dungeon six. I know. Oh, they're going too fast now. Oh. We're all down in your corner, too. Dead. You can hold down the fire button for a continuous fire. That helps in certain situations. Guard one exit. We well, can guard both of them. Oh, oh, ah! no. I tried. I tried. Six. Level six. Terrible. Terrible. We're so bad at this game. Which one am I? Okay, I'm the bottom one. But we're not plugged into the. We're not, it's not plugged gonna into save anyway. No, no, it's not gonna save anyway. Pressing up and down at the same time. It's oh! Okay. What? Oh, it's alright, just settings anyway. Right. Ah, level one. So simple. So lovely. Level two. So, at the arcade today, we played this one. I played Bosconian. I played Gyrus. And I played Satan's Hollow. And I got new high scores for myself on all of them. Not, not this game, because I'm terrible at this game. <laughs> terrible. Terrible at this game. I'm, I'm decent at all the rest of the games. Um, and I got a high score for the arcade in Satan's Hollow. Yes, and, and in the pro process, pushing my high score off the page. Yep, I am... Oh. Nine out of the ten of the high scores. Yeah, because uh, he, he didn't turn off. <laughs> he didn't turn off the machine, which is nice. Um, so he leaves that machine on. Uh, so I got sixty-two thousand, I think. You did pretty well. In um, got it. Oh, yeah. Yes, um, sixty-two thousand in uh, Satan's Hall. Too bad. Not it's not too great. Bad. I mean, it's not anything too special. <laughs> um, but it's it's the best uh, so far. Pretty happy with that. Just getting techniques down. Oh my god, don't shoot me. Ah. Oh no. Ah. Terrible, terrible, terrible. I'm taking the top. You can take the bottom. Um, in Bosconian, what did I get? Did I get first or? Th no, I got first. I have um, the top score in the arcade for Bosconian, and it's not even really a good score. I can't remember what it is, but it's not that great. Right um, in Gyrus, I'm third, and now I'm pretty decent at it, so I think I'll be able to get first next time I go there unless somebody massively increases their score. Um, um, damn it! Two! Can't dance. 
go. Oh! This can cause us to break the cord. Got him. Good job. <laughs> I made some Satan's Hollow Sprites last week. Oh, very nice. Because I supposed to did a proof of concept of Satan's Hollow, ah. which was incredibly impressive. Um, Satan's Hollow is great. Yes. Um, ah, I don't like this. <laughs> and using, using the play field, you made some amazing graphics that I didn't think would be able to be made with just the play field. But, um, Oh my god. Dead. Dead! What? Completely dead? Yeah, I had a no. terrible run there in that dungeon. Dungeon oh. 6 is like the best I can get to. Because it gets really fast in Dungeon mm. 6. Now, compared to the arcade, I don't know, because we didn't make it to Dungeon 6, I don't think, in the arcade. We're terrible. I feel like you can't flip around fast enough when they get to a certain speed. Turning around becomes really, really challenging. I gotta get out of this place. There. I need to get right here so I can have some distance. Come on. Pick a side. Pick pick a side. <gasps> no, no, no. Get out of here. Come on. There we go. Bye-bye. Got him, oh my god. Good job. Just look up Satan's Hall and never see that in any arcade in my entire life. Looks like Galaga meets Castlevania. Mm -hmm. Um Galaga, because you're shooting up. Mm. It's 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 a shooter. A fixed uh fixed shooter. Yeah. Um a lot of demons flying around. A ton of enemies that come at you at once. or whatever you want to call them. And <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like demon dudes. But it is, it is, it is a sh like you are shooting up. You yeah. know, you're, you're killing monsters falling from the sky. But so. unlike Galaga, there's a little bit of reprieve, and then they all come at you at once. Yes, yeah. It's insanity. Yeah. Um, and you have a like shield. Tumbling. That's the big deal. Yeah. So it's timing the shield in the shop. The shield Dungeons. counts down. Yeah, you have 15 things of shields, or 15 and it goes seconds down quite or whatever, right? yeah. It's not quite Pretty, seconds, but it's yeah. very fast. Mm. Made it to 107. Would you like to trade joysticks, or are you fine with that one? I think we can flip with them. Ooh. That one's shorter. That's good to know. I'm not sure I love this joystick either, but... <laughs> no, it's... For this, it's not super great. Yeah. I do find uh, hitting the button to hurt my hand. This one? You can yeah. hold down the button up. Yeah. That's what I do. Unless I need to fire something specifically. I either like let it go, I don't continuously press it, I get to the spot where I need to shoot something and then I just hold it down. Corners. Always causes me problems. The game's easier with two people, but sometimes you do shoot each other. Yes, it is important. Get on your own side. This is when two players come. Does standing next to the teleport cause the game? What kind of game sound? <laughs> the back and forth, you mean on both sides? Of the teleporter? I don't think it, it, it makes a sound if you're just standing there. But it does make a sound if you go through it. <gasps> Damn it! Just, uh, it's so hard because you have to watch the radar. Got him. Oh man! Right away, just You're appeared just right destroying before. Destroying me in score right now. Am I? One thousand. Oh yeah. yeah. 
No, I, I sometimes, and sometimes uh, they come towards you and sometimes they, oh, you got me. It's you, get out of here, I'm taking the top. I'm gonna get hurt. Oh, you got him. Nice. I thought I heard it and you didn't go through. Might have been a yeah. an enemy Spence. gone through. Oh. You go back and forth really quick sometimes. I mean, I doubt we'll find anything... Um, That'll help John out, unfortunately. Because <laughs> we're not that good at the game, so we can't really get to higher levels. Actually, we can um, we can jump to a higher level. Can we? Yeah. Just by um, pressing the level button. So we can go to the pit. Shoot. Oh my god. That was close. <laughs> <laughs> You can jump ahead to uh, other dungeons? You can. You can sound like a little bit. Do you have to choose it from the beginning? Is that um, I think you can choose it at any time. I'm just going to turn up the sound. It might echo. Oh my god, they're so fast now. Oh, come on! <laughs> Almost. He escaped because yes. he killed you. I think the moment he kills you, he escapes. Yeah? Yeah. Obviously, it doesn't matter which side. You've got a lot more lives than I do. A lot, right almost now. all of them. I think oh, I just died for the first time. You did very well. Oh, it's so fast right away on this level. Get him, get him. Come on. Good job. Into my line of fire. Oh. Turned around and he was already on me. What did you do? There we go. Oh, good job. Got him. Oh, nice. Sands Hall is intense. It looks ahead of its time graphics-wise for 81. Yes, yes it's, yeah. It's a lot of graph, a lot of really good graphics yeah. in Sands Hall, and a lot of it's the demon head that spouts fire is like my favorite part of that. <laughs> just did I just kill you? Yeah. No, 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 no. You didn't. Oh. I just died. Okay. You didn't kill me. Dungeon eight, pretty good. Yep. Where I die though, I think. Oh, it just appeared out of nowhere. There's too many things that are invisible. It's actually beneficial to the 2600 that there's so many invisible things, because then you don't have to draw them. Yeah, it's very true. Oh, it's so hard. <laughs> Atari, are you going to play? Come, Come here, buddy. Let's jump ahead to Dungeon 9. Mm -hmm. I think you do it when you're in. Here he is. Good kitty. Good kitty. I don't know. Isn't it just on the build a level? Like the. There we go. Once you've seen. Oh no, you can only go to 3. Maybe I pressed it too many times. Maybe. some space. Yeah, there you go. There you go. No, 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 no. Stay, stay, stay. Purr, purr, purr. Stay. There we go. It's all good. It's all good. Yeah. 
Tar is here to say hi. Oh! 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 oh sorry. Sat on the cat. Dungeon 9. How is anyone supposed to survive this? <laughs> John was saying he plays it with his son and they get to the pit. Yeah. I'm like, Which wow, that's 13? really impressive. It is really impressive. Yeah. Get on them. I don't know how you do this. I have no idea how you survive this. Are they playing on easy mode? Maybe. Even on, even on easy. We'll try easy next time. Maybe. This is relentless. Good job. Got him. Nice. Survived. Barely. S sort of. <laughs> Warlord Dungeon. I don't even know what that is. Just a name. Oh, it's dungeon. just the name of the dungeon. Yeah. Ah! ah! <laughs> Killed each other instantly. Dead. Oh, no. Dead. John Wick could survive it. I don't know how, like, I don't even know how to use, like, good tactics for this game. Like, there's nowhere safe to be. There's so many enemies, they're all over the place. Oh, oh that must be what you heard. Nobody went through it. But they just closed off no, automatically. No, no. Someone went through in, invisibly. Oh, an invisible It was guy. an invisible okay. walkthrough. Okay, so let's go yeah. to... That is insane. Yeah, <laughs> I agree, RC70. It is. It's, it's, it's really fun. It it's is. It's really fun, but it's really hard. It ramps up uber, uber fast. This is novice. So we'll see how we do on novice. Okay. <laughs> There's a bit of a pause there. Yeah. Probably had to say something. Maybe. Oh, terrible. terrible move. Walked right into him. They're going slower. They are definitely. At least, the least uh, there's there's less of them. Oh, way I less. Think, and they're coming out slower. Oh, he's still just as fast. No. no. Oh, oh, come on. I think he. Or he's as, as fast as he is when he first arrives. You know, mm. but he doesn't show up till the third dungeon. I don't know. He doesn't. He seems still pretty quick. Oh, come on. Let's do that. Is it random whether the door shuts down behind you? Oh, get out of here! Good job. Yeah. Um, that wizard. I suppose that you should do a, a proof of concept of a game called Timber. Oh yeah, yeah, we were talking about that. 2600. Yes. I think it's completely doable. And the trees could be made from the play field. And then everything else obviously has to be a player. This is too detailed. Um, but it would be a really, really fun game. Yeah, we enjoyed that game. Two-player game where you chop down trees. Yeah. As many trees as you can. Yeah. In the amount of time. Then there's a the log rolling part, which is dead easy for the 2600 yeah. to do. Dead easy. It's just the two players and you can do the play field for the log rolling. He needs a... Oh, out of nowhere. That does happen. They do kind of like spawn. Yep. Ah, too many! <laughs> Got him. Nice. Good job. Sure. 
Pray for double scores. Dungeon six. Let's see how well we can do on the easy mode. Ah. It is easier. They aren't as crazy. Ah. Way easier on all this. Get out of here! <laughs> Maybe we made it to the pit on Novus. I don't know. <laughs> uh, still got they're moving Men fast left. now. They are. Yeah, they're definitely moving a lot faster. Coming after you. I know. Oh, coming to my, that corner. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Nope. Oh no. Got both of us. Oh, got and us. the wizard escaped immediately. Because we died? We died. Yeah, the you moment you die, died. the wizard, the wizard is gone. Oh, oh no. Oh. Ah! This is rough. Oh, my goodness. It's really open. I'm dead. And I'm almost dead. Dungeon 8. Whew. Good way of doing dungeons is staying at the bottom. Yeah, I think maybe that's the key: is one goes to the bottom, one goes to the top, and you can just duck behind walls if you have to. Ooh, got, got the that wizard. guy. Good job. I love that. Great sound. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was really lucky. Came on the right time. I don't know. Eleven. Tell you in a moment. Ten. Ten. Oh my God! Look at them go. Good luck. Ah, oh, that was really good run though. Dungeon oh, ten. Yeah, for easy mode. Yeah. <laughs> Novice. Mm -hmm. So. Um, do an advanced one. <laughs> advanced right one? Away. Advanced. Yeah. All right, let's see how this goes. Okay. Moving around the screen in no time. Yeah, that was easy mode. It was easy mode. It was not easy, though. So I got a lot further. I made it to level 10, where before I could... Barely make it to level 8. Oh, yeah. Um, but level 10 was just right out of the gate in easy mode super fast. Now, this is advanced mode. Not, not a big change in level 1 yet. No.
There goes a wall. There goes a wall. Maybe you lose the walls or it's sooner? Oh, yes. I think I read about that in one of his updates that the walls go away for sooner. Mm -hmm. at, um, Any advancement? Yeah. Which does make it harder because then you don't have the long hallways to protect yourself in. in today. <laughs> what is the hard mode? Yeah, but no, it was just, just dumb, 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 dumb things. <laughs> oh, you're done? Yeah, I'm dead. Oh, no, I'm <laughs> I just kept three. dying. I'm like, what's going on? Yeah, there it is. Did you just exit out? Yeah, yeah just, just making bad choices, you know. Bad choices. Bad choices. Oh, you're back. Oh, what? Oh. Got an extra life because you cracked up enough points at the end of the level? I suppose. And life just is not going to last me very long, I can uh, tell you that much. Ah! He just came up behind me! Oh, so much for that. <laughs> just quick. Actually, on my, um, really good, uh, the high score I got today in Satan's Hollow, mm -hmm. I, on my second to last life, mm -hmm. I didn't know I had an extra life. And I wanted to take a picture of it, so I handed you something. I didn't know what I handed it. Oh, yeah, my, you, the phone because you like, wanted take to a take a photo and you totally missed the fact that you had an extra life. Yeah, I must yeah. have just got it. No, you didn't. You didn't, didn't. you didn't notice it. Yeah. I think there's a bezel. Yeah, there that is. That hides a little bit if you're not in the right yeah. position. And you handed it to me and I was like, why are you handing this to me? You have another <laughs> life. And then you're like, oh God, take it, take it. <laughs> but that was when you got your high score. You did very Mistakes well. Were Mistakes they were made. Mistakes were made. Okay, we're gonna go on to the next um, game now. We're terrible at that game. I'm sorry, John. Well, I don't think we're terrible at it, but it is a hard. I game. wish I was a lot better at that game, so I could do better <laughs> testing for you. But I'm just, yeah. I'm just terrible at it. Um, so we're gonna play Galagon. Yay. Not many updates, so it's just gonna be for a little bit, just, a little uh, for fun. Yeah. Uh, I think they are just two-player updates. Yes. Um, so let me switch out the graphics here. Uh, this build is from six days ago, August 27th. Um, it says, in case you're going to play Galagon, here's the latest build. Last time we played this was August 23rd, not too long ago. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just over a week ago. Um, not many changes. I've turned my attention to getting WoW Arcade to 99% complete, like Galagon. So this is 99% complete. Um, I mean, the both of these are going to be released in box form. Nice. In October. Nice. Um, so it's a double shot of champ games. Uh, just a few tweaks to the control timer behavior in co-op mode. Now, have you played this? Where Yeah, we've played this where it sw swaps every eight seconds back and forth or not. No, you haven't played that? No, obviously not. Okay, so we will play that. You get to experience that. Okay. Um, stop it. There we go. So the updates he's done. Mm -hmm. Modify the co-op switch logic so if the ships are changing control, flashing, at the end of the level, they will complete the switch immediately. Okay. Modify the co-op switch logic so the switch timer isn't reset at the beginning of a new level. So the switch timer isn't reset. Interesting. Okay, so press the button. You want this? Yep. Standard? Yep. Okay, so you know, have you played it where you can pass each pass through each other? No. No. Oh, okay. You push each, each other off the screen. Oh, yeah, we're going to do easy mode. Okay, yeah, that's why I said. You want okay. standard? You said yes. Okay. We'll reset. Yeah, reset it to... Novice, right? Yep. So we start on the screen. Player one and two. One and two. Love it. We squish them together. Yeah. As per my suggestion. See? Oh, so much better. So nice. I'm blue. Tanya's red. You have to remember what you are. Is this for all levels or just novice? Uh, all, all levels now. 
Oh no, he kept the advanced where you block each other. Nice. We should try that then, just to check it out. Yeah. I didn't think I actually tried that last time. And then when one of us dies, it's still two player. So that so he's implemented something where it switches players each time every eight seconds. So because he thought, oh well. Oh really? One player's just bored sitting there the whole time. So why not um, switch Just a it up? novice or an advanced? Or is all advanced all like it. before? Really? Yeah. Oh no. It's confusing. It does. You forget and where you, you are. Over. I only missed one. No! no! You have the Galaga image. Yeah, I know. I don't have a Galaga on image. <laughs> Just have to deal with Galaga. I haven't updated it. Oh! Ah, there you go. So it switches back and forth? Yeah, it does a little sound, and then it flashes. And then it's you. Oh my and goodness! You die. <laughs> yeah, well, you have to catch on pretty quick. Yep. Player two. And then to get back to two players, you have to do the normal thing of getting captured and everything like that. Okay, it's your turn. Play! To watch for the flashing. Okay, and he's going to come down and capture. And when he captures... Oh! What are you doing? I didn't. I me? stopped moving. Oh no, it was me. See? You've got to be paying attention. <laughs> he's getting mad at me. I know. He's the one who wasn't paying attention. I have to get mad at myself. It's you. Don't shoot too many. Oh, it's you now. Yep. Ah! Oh, uh, right into him. <laughs> That's terrible. Will I, I do it again? I thought you made one. Did I make one? A Galagon one? I don't think I did. I can check. After we're dead. Will I try again? Probably not, eh? Uh, no. Oh, it's I don't you think now. Think so. Oh, jeez. Because he won't. If he won't I have go back one formation. suggestion, I think whatever noise it makes when it switches over needs to be a lot more prominent. A lot more piercing. Because it just goes. Doo, 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 doo. Um, you have to be paying attention. I guess so. I, mean, I don't want it to be annoying because it does it every eight seconds. What somebody suggests is that you kind of. I think it was playing with Darcy. Or? This is that you kind of pretend to start playing as soon as it starts flashing and making the noise. So that's this seamless transition. And it works really well. Ugh. Trying to get our second player back. Yeah. Champ posted one? A cart? Oh, Oops. that was you. That's okay. Oh, still going. You're first. That's it for lives. Yep. Until what? 50,000 or 70,000? 70? I think it's 30 and 70? 20 and 70? <sighs> Terrible. <laughs> I don't think I have a... another graphic. For... Let's see. Oh, you know what? I'm still looking under Galaga. You have a Galagon? And I have Galagon, you are <gasps> right. Oh, someone was paying attention. <laughs> yes, they were. <laughs> Super fan. Yeah. There we go. Yep, yep, RC70, you are correct. How did that just change from a gold to a white? What? His symbol. <laughs> See, he, was, he had a gold Z and a white. Wow. <laughs> Let's see. Eight month subscriber, and now he's just a subscriber. That's weird. That's weird. Oh well, figure that out. <laughs> um. Oh yeah, we wanted to do. Can you change it to advance, please? It's too hard for me to. There we go. Press button. 
Now we shouldn't be able to pass through. Okay. We'll push, push. Ugh. But you have to earn it. Oh. <laughs> it's even harder in advance because they are already start dive bombing him. They do. Oh, you you are now switching back and forth. Oh yeah, this is still. I didn't mode. I didn't realize that was still going on here. Yep. <laughs> you thought you were playing. Sometimes it's hard to now tell. Now you're switched. Yeah. Mm. It's hard to tell. I looked it up, and there are two-player co-op um, Galagos. Okay. Other than this. I thought this was the first one. I can't remember what they are, but there are a couple. There are a couple that I don't exist. know how they implemented it, though. Mm -hmm. I didn't look up videos of it. So now you are permanently captured. And it doesn't oh, switch really? Because you're up there, right? Yeah, that kind of makes sense. Yeah. So there's two on the screen. Don't kill me. Try not to. It's actually it's really hard. <gasps> Ooh, good job! Yay! You're back. Yeah, we are pushing up. each yeah. other. <laughs> And that is harder to play oh, like this. Oh, it is, for sure. you're on one side. You can push someone into a corner if you're not careful. Yeah. And done. It's funny because you are player one. one and I'm player two, but I ended up on the left-hand side. Yeah. Because of the order that I rescued, we uh, rescued each we other. We went back and forth, yeah. Because I rescued you, right? Yeah. So you are the, the person who got rescued, so you're on the right hand side. Let's see if we can get that going. Don't shoot them! Uh oh. You might do it. Nope. Shoot them all! Sometimes, but they have Maybe to go into formation. Oh, I see. Um, to reset the type of um, Galaga boss it is. Seems like the most dangerous spots are two to three inches in from each side. Yes. Um, it's not yeah, a good that's spot. About right. Mostly because there's nowhere to run at that point. Or stops during this little part. That would make sense. Yeah, because you don't want to be switching while you're not actually even playing. It just get confusing. Don't shoot the bosses. Oh, there's only one left. Never mind. Yeah, screwed. Sorry about that. Again. Diving. And <gasps> oh, I didn't even hear it go. See, <laughs> see, you have to be paying attention. But he will. He, he is going to uh, do it again. I think so. Yeah. Oh, oh my god, that was terrible. Yeah. Now, now there's no point. No, no. Do not let that happen. Shoot them all. Oh, he's twenty thousand. solo for a second? I yes, I do, actually. Yeah. <laughs> That's what right, I was I'll wanting right. to do. Okay. Okay, right yeah, 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 yeah. Don't have the Atari box hooked up. Okay. One player. Not advanced. Standard. Let's play a normal game. Just unscrewing the ball. So 
We're gonna have most of the same categories for the Atari Awards this year, but I'm gonna be tweaking a couple of them. So that... It's more... interesting. And... still in the planning stages for... And I do want to include 5200 games, 7800 games, um, and 8-bit, uh, Atari 8-bit games as well. Um, but just one award for those. I've, we've already discussed this before, so it's not like a surprise for those. Um, I'm not going to be judging, like, I'm going to leave it up to some experts for those. Because we don't play 5200 games or 7800 games on the stream. So I'm going to reserve judgment for those games to those communities that do um, deal with that. All right. Holy, you switched image midstream? I did. Haha, <laughs> you didn't even notice. But I did. Very easy to do. Just update the graphic and it automatically changes. Um, so there's just going to be the top awards for 5,200 and 7,800 games because there are communities. There's not as many games released for those systems. Um, and, you know, as time progresses, if there are more games being released for those systems, then we can expand the awards to more. much easier with two. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But only that level, because I have none of the other ones memorized. No. It's hard, especially when you get to the dragonflies, I think. Oh, my God. Yeah, they come in, and I they need double. They need, off the stream. They need to be hit twice, right? Uh, not the dragonflies. Maybe. Oh, okay. Just the Just boss galagas. Boss galagas. Galaga bosses. Galagas? Galagons? No, no, no. They are galaga bosses. They're galaga bosses. What are galagas, then? Um... I, I can't remember. They're, we talk about this every time we play the game, and I can never remember what the names of the... the... problem is that the Japanese versions have different names for these as well. Oh, really? Well, and they change names on for different versions of the game. So there's, I think, so there's problems with naming on yeah. Galaga. up the screen. Very oh, nice. Should have left that one for a uh, second. That's okay. Are you an advanced? Uh, no. I don't know. Standard? Standard, sorry. Uh, I'm in the corner. Uh... Yeah. Get out of the corners. There's nowhere to go. My other ship back. friend to come down. Oh. I shot. Come here. I can still get it. Up. Come on. No, come on. Or is this a me? Well, I say first said holy switch the image midstream. Uh 5200 was kind of a big deal for me as a kid. The better graphics and crazy controller were exciting, but I only had a few games for it. Everything else I played was through the 2600 compatibility insert. Oh, very cool. I was supposed to, and I already had an 800 XL in 1984, so I didn't okay. need a 5200. No, because they work off the base, same base. Sorry. System. It's basically a an Atari uh, computer in a big shell. Mm -hmm. Reminds me, I suppose, I have to play your game you sent me. Not your game, but the game you sent me for my Atari uh, XEGS. Mm. Have, we, have you plugged that in, have you? I 
have. Yes, I have. So. You got that at one of the... Not this one, but the one PRGs, before. I think. Yeah. PRG, the one before this last one. Galaxian uh, just killed me. Uh, Boo. He was a really nice guy. And remember him? Mm -hmm. He's like, oh, I, he put a lot of work into them and, and cleaned them and made sure they were working perfectly. And he was very particular about the power supplies. Yes, he was. Yeah, he really cared about those machines. Yeah, so. 66? Atari Blast. That's mm -hmm. what it is. Okay, there we go. Um, we'll play two-player alternating. Press, 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 press. There. Alternating? Yeah, non-co-op. Okay. In standard? Um, let's do uh, novice. Novice? Why? I don't know. Do standard. Okay. It's just composite out, I think, have on, on my um, Atari XEGS, but um, should be fine, should look okay, upscaled. If it's got a, I mean, he, I'm sure it has a very clean output, he was very particular about his, his systems. games did you play at the arcade today? I know you played Bubble Bobble. I played Bubble Bobble. I played a really, um, oh no. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Um, I played, I played Tetris, but the, the, um, joystick was really wonky. Um, uh, I can't talk and play at the same time. Oh, uh, it, it just, yeah, it you know, you'd hit, go to the side, but it went, wouldn't go all the way to the side, and it would just, the, there was something really wrong with the joystick, so I didn't play Did that for very long. No, I should have, I should have. I didn't uh, speak to him. Um, I played a lot of Satan's Hollow, yep. played uh, Wizard of War on my own and with you. Yeah. Uh, did I play any of the other ones? I think those were pretty much it. What did we play together? We played Wizard of War together. Yeah. We um, played Marble Madness. Marble Madness, yes. Yes, we, we did. played Marble That's Madness. Um, didn't do too well. Made it I, too. I remember my friend having Almost a the end of level three. version of that on her Apple or whatever back yeah. in the day, and I was terrible when I played it back then. Uh -huh. It's just not a game. I have a real good sense of or something. It's not easy. Oh, wow. That was a very lucky shot. Extremely <laughs> that I, lucky. That I didn't hit myself. Uh, what else? Did you play any any of the other ones? Oh, I played Space Oh, you played Canyon or something. Scramble as well, you oh, played? Oh, Scramble, yeah. I think I mentioned that. But yeah. I played... We bo oh, we both played S S Space Canyon. I remember what oh, it was called. Oh, yes. Really old school analog kind of game. Black and white with a color overlay, overlay. screen. And it had like um, a... A yoke. Is that what you call it? Flight yoke. A flight yoke. And, and you were, yeah, you were, things were falling down from the going screen. Going down a canyon. What was really interesting, you were going down a canyon. It very much felt like the Star Wars, um, yeah. what do you call that? The run, uh... Trench run. The trench run. That's what it felt like. Obviously, that's where it took inspiration from. Uh, and, yes. uh, and as you shot things, their garbage would fly at you, which I thought was hilarious. And I'm surprised there aren't more games that have that, where it's like you hit something, then the garbage just kind of spews. The, the mangled ship the bounces around. Bounces around, which is really... And you get points for shooting the garbage bouncing yeah. around, which is a great concept. It's a great concept, but it had a yoke. So as you pulled, pushed forward, you, you, were, you slid forward further up the trench and the bad guys would actually move faster towards you and it was timed so you kind of wanted damn it to do well at the game you needed to be further faster. forward and move faster because i think initially you were playing and you thought you were doing as well yeah. than i was but i was actually holding back more and in the end you had a higher score not much higher but a little bit higher a yeah. little bit higher yeah but it's not the normal yoke like this. It was like it back was like and pulling forth. Pulling in You're and out. Pushing like into the mechanically trench and... pulling it yeah. in and out. It was very interesting. Oh, 
toy search. Come on, come on, come on. Good job. Getting better at that, because this is harder it than is the arcade. It is harder than the arcade, yeah. <laughs> to get your guy back, because he shoots at the same time as he comes down, so he protects himself with his shot, and he doesn't do that in the arcade. It's so much easier. Find this harder, this game harder than the arcade. I do way better. Oh my god! The sacrifice yet another ship! Okay. There we go. Oh. That's one. No, no, no! Wrecked it. Wrecked it. In the arcade, I can get close to like between 70 and 100,000 every time. This is just terrible. <laughs> it's so much harder. Which is good. Give you practice. Yeah, it's just... The, Your turn. It's a, <laughs> Yeah, well, you made a lot farther than I did. Marble Madness on the NES blew my mind. Yeah, it that was pretty amazing for the NES. I also had Marble Madness for the C64, which was also quite an accomplishment. Any kind of that pseudo 3D. 2.5D. 2.5D? I mean, technically, it's just a scrolling screen. Like, s straight up scrolling screen. And it just knows where you can... Um, fall move, off. <laughs> fall off, move the marble. Uh, or not move the marble. But still, it's really an amazing accomplishment. And, of course, the controller is really, really right. Really Actually, I don't know if I've ever showed Marble Madness for the Atari 2600. Is there a Marble Madness? And it's really good. Is it? It's not a finished game. It's a proof of concept. It's like oh, only got level well, you one. You have to bring that out then. Yeah. That's cool. I don't know if I've ever played it on the show. I don't recall you playing it on the show, but you've had a fair number of shows. So. Yes, 150. So. Or something like that. 125, something like that. I don't know how many people know that there is a Marvel Madness for the 2600. It's unbelievably good for this little system. Yeah. Um, and I think somebody could complete it if they wanted to. Like, maybe there's no enemies. That's the... You probably have like two lives left because I just kept getting them killed. Yeah. In the air? By siphoning, <laughs> no. them, siphoning them off. Well, that's true. I'm not doing that well, so... I'll have to put uh, Marble Madness on a show coming up. Oh. Doesn't don't have it plugged in. Need the need the Quadtari finished. Oh, do I have to... There you go. <laughs> hey, you've got two lives left. I yeah. thought you did. Well, yeah. I made a mock first screen Marble Madness, but it was never playable. Maybe it was you. Let's see. Attributed to mm. Marble Madness. I don't have anybody's name on it. In 2014, uh, July 22nd. I don't know where I got it from. Must have been before I was attributing people's names to it. Maybe you sent it to me. It just scrolls up and down. Uh, let's see if it's the same one. Oh, never mind. It's not playable. This is yours. I'll have to put your name on it. it actually, it just scrolls down. But it looks really good. Show it off in a show coming up. Because I think that was just done all with Playfield, right? Sure looks like it. Oh yeah, it's just Playfield. So you have the ball and the missiles still available. Actually, the ball wouldn't help too much because it's the same color as the Playfield. Um, 
but you have both players. And dead. And <laughs> dead. And dead. Good. I think we tested. Let's see. What, did, what was the uh, fixes? Modified the co-op logic, so if the ships are changing control at the end of a level, I mean, that's just by chance that mm. that would happen, they will complete the switch immediately. Mm. So it would just... Switch for the next stage. Yeah, before the yeah. next stage. Gotcha. Modified the co-op switch logic, so the switch timer isn't reset at the beginning of a new level. Um, so it just continues off. We have four seconds remaining. The last level, it'll be four seconds again mm. to complete the eight. It doesn't start from zero and go to eight. Mm. Yeah. That's hard to hard to see on the screen though. <laughs> have to have a stopwatch doing That's that. True. Yeah. So I'm glad we got that bug fixed pretty quick at the beginning of the show. Yeah. I mean, not a terribly exciting show. Obviously the the changes are very <laughs> minimal at this point yeah. for these two games. It's still fun to play. They're just little tweaks. Mm -hmm. tiny tiny bug fixes that nobody except super expert players will see mm. actually i don't even know if any of these are bug fixes a screen roll oh there's a couple bug fixes in Wh wizard of war yeah mm. um so next turn that can you turn that off so it doesn't make the sounds anymore in the background left yeah, i never get you to turn it off do i no nope. <laughs> i'm like off off okay yep. <laughs> Um, others worked on the graphics years earlier. I just put them in a display. Uh, oh, okay. Cool. Very nice. Yeah, it's it's really nice. I'll I'll have to show that off. Maybe it'll um, inspire somebody to do it because it it's very viewable. Um, so yeah, just an impromptu show. Nothing too serious. No research needed. <laughs> That's what makes it easy. Just nice to see who's out there and who yeah, wants to watch. Awake. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so on the next episode, which is on Wednesday, uh, Erilyn will be back, um, and we're going to be playing Dog Walk, which is an exciting yeah, new game. That sounds interesting. With a very interesting mechanic. Yeah. And I've been in touch with the developer, so mm -hmm. he's uh, sent me his history, of his programming history and uh, development of the game. Hi, Atari. Come here. Come here. Make some room for the cat. Yeah. Um. Uh, and another game called The Wicked Father, which has a very twisted backstory, but uh, is a fun game. Yeah, um, I like twisted backstories. And we're going to be playing through more levels of Robo Mechanic. Mm. Um, and somebody recently added to the thread of Robo Mechanic, saying, "Oh, I hope this gets. Uh, hope this game continues because mm. it kind of just stopped oh, a while I see. ago. Like the developer, the development." Yeah. yeah, development just stopped, and it's like a really unbelievable game. Really? And it's that close to being done. Oh, cool. So it's like, oh, continue on. Yeah. Um, and and then I said, oh, yeah, please, I hope, blah, 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 blah. And then he appeared like the same day. Mm. Um, and he had, and I said, and I said, oh, I don't know if he's going to be back because he hasn't, he hasn't even visited the board in like six months. And he hasn't mm. said anything in like, 10 months or something yeah um but then he appeared nice. <laughs> which was amazing because i you do you can set it to give you emails okay if somebody replies to one of your threads or oh nice yeah or says so you your, get a notification or says your name and i yeah. i said his name like added him because oh. you can at people on the atari age forums now oh that's awesome cool. yeah because it alerts you to it and he's like oh i've been really busy yeah. but i do have plans for this cool. um and it's always that last little 5% that's the hardest to do. And that's what he that's mm -hmm. where he really is. Like the game is so It's pretty much done. It's yeah. very done. Cool. And we got through levels A through C. Um not levels, but worlds A through C and I think there's like 10 or 8 or 10 uh levels per world. And you get to select if you make it through uh world A, you can start at world B anytime you want. Mm -hmm. So we finished world C. So now we can start in world D. And there's D, E, F, and X. So we're starting on D, so there's much more to play on that, which is excellent. And uh, we are planning, I think, I, did you come up with the idea? I think you did, of streaming from Portland Retro Gaming Expo. Mm. 
And Be then I cool. thought about that for like five or ten seconds going, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, we can. I suggested that. Because yes. we can bring the laptop. Yeah. Uh, it won't be as much power, so I'll have to adjust things. Yeah. To make sure it can handle what we're doing. Yeah. Um, it won't have any direct game input. It'll all be through like the video camera playing yeah. at a screen. Yeah, which is fine. So I'll have to... Um, no, no, no. What do you, no. I don't know where you're going, but <laughs> I don't want you going there. You just stay over here. Um, so we'll be... Uh, yeah, I can do the encoder, which is powered by the laptop. Hey, 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 hey. No, no, no. Uh, which is powered by the laptop. I can even bring a webcam if we need to point like at our faces playing. Yeah. Which would be not a bad idea. Yeah. Um, and it's, it's com completely wireless. You get yeah. the Wi-Fi at Portland Retro Gaming Expo. And the only question mark is, I can't remember how, how good the upload speed is on their Wi-Fi. We did do some like... Streaming. Streaming and off a camera. Seemed okay. it, it seemed fine. Might have to scale it down accordingly. Which is okay. Which is, might be still doable. So. Yeah, I'll do some test yeah. runs. Um, I watched all the shows with The Wizard of War and didn't realize it was an arcade game originally. Yeah. It is. Yeah. It is a very hard arcade yeah, game. Yeah, it's very good. It's a very uh, good two, very two good. player game. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and it's not, it doesn't make the game harder with two players. Like some games you play two players and it's like, oh, you're playing two players? There are four, I have to. Give you ten, ten no, monsters instead of five. You have the advantage when you play with two players. I mean, you can hit each other, which is dangerous. But, but you can get through the monsters a lot faster. So yeah, yeah. and That's the same with this. Yeah, one or two players, it doesn't matter. It's the same level. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, so hopefully all that comes together for PRG, but we be, we will be streaming in some sense, hmm. either at worst a cell phone. Yeah, <laughs> like we did last time, which wasn't great. Um, but I'll have my new camera by then, yep. which is great. Mm -hmm. And it's a video camera, so no more over overheating. Hopefully. It's fine today, though, <laughs> which is good. Yeah. No, it's I've just sometimes it has problems when it gets really But we're warm. doing it at night, not at yeah, 11 a.m. where it's the heat of the day. Yeah. Mm. Love, Wizard of War, uh, and Galagon. Thanks for the show. Mm -hmm. You're very welcome, yeah, Urpentless VG. Uh, yeah. Not too many. Staying up so late. Too. Not too many more <laughs> of these. Probably that might be the last one before it gets released, and then I'll do yeah. the boxed copy of each. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fair enough. And go through all the manuals and things. And, yeah, manuals yeah. are fun. But it's not going to be much um, different. Yeah. Like the updates are pretty much done. It's all just tweaks of how hard it is and things like that. <clears throat> um, yeah, I think that's it mm -hmm. for us tonight. Thanks for uh, watching us, if you have been, or if you've been watching on YouTube. Um, yeah, the subscriptions are going well yeah. for YouTube and, and followers on Twitch, yeah, Twitch and yeah. everything. It's just, just looked at the graphs the other day, and it's like a straight line. Yeah, It's which is very nice. interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just, oh, actually, from your perspective. Yeah, that would be weird. <laughs> I'd be like getting worse and worse. <laughs> yeah, so more and more people are watching it all the mm -hmm. time, which is awesome. So thanks for tuning in. And we'll be back. Oh, I want to say hello to everyone because I do that. One time I did that there, and some somebody said that was abrupt when I ended the show because <laughs> I didn't say people's oh, names. Oh, yeah, yeah. I missed that. Yeah. So thanks. Uh, not too many people were able to tune in because it's, it's... Or at least chatted. Unannounced yeah. or chatted. Yeah. Because, let's see, uh, there's some more people here. I always like looking at this once in a while because I don't know those names. Oh, for the users. Because they don't chat. No. It's funny. They just put it on in the background. Yeah. So thanks for Pentless VG and I Sposta and RC7E. I think that, think that it. might be it. Yeah. Yep. Able Thank to you tune for, in. for tuning in. At this late at night. Yeah. On, on it, unscripted, unannounced. Unscripted, just, unannounced. Hey, bonus, it's a bonus show. Monday, Labor Day Monday. Let's let's yeah. do a quick show. So. Yeah. But yeah. we'll be back on Wednesday at 11 a.m. Yes. normal time. Yeah. Um, Bright so, and early. Yep. So thanks for tuning for in. And there are lurkers. There <laughs> Always. Bye-bye to the lurkers, yes. too. Bye, lurkers, <laughs> and bye, you two people watching yeah. later. Bye-bye. Yeah.